was on the last bit of the journey. Yeah. What time was this? 11 o'clock news had just been on the radio. I, uh, I turned into the Heathfield Industrial Estate on this white van pulled out in front. These uh, two guys in masks. And... Did they say anything? Yeah, the usual. They had the door open, shouting. I tried to kick one. You fall back? I knew they wanted the truck. I wasn't going to let them. You knew? Look, they, they said I might have a concussion. Mr. Neal. Cart this way. No, I'm afraid it can't. Now, what did you mean when you said you knew? Look, there have been other hijacks, yeah? I want the first. Yeah, but the other drivers weren't found with their hands tied up in the back of a van. And quite clearly, you provoked them. Unless I'm missing something here. Yeah? You think I'm lying? I don't know, Mr. Neal. But the hijackers knew where to find you. You got any idea how? What? They got their information from somewhere. Is this for real, mate, or am I missing something here? Whatever it is, we're done. I don't have to listen to this no more. What, you reckon I went in too hard? I didn't think it was such a good idea to treat him as a suspect, Sarge. Listen, he might be shaken up, but he's hiding something, right? Yeah, yeah. True. OK, so uh, what do we do now? We'll go to the Aulage firm where he works. Let's see if he really is the employee of the month. Oh, Sheila, uh, I was looking for June. Well, she's out in the area, Carl. I need to speak to her. I need to know exactly what she told Madden. And I need you in custody. Mum, I... No, now, Sheila. MIT have finished. You're working for business again. Sorry. You from Sunhill? Yes, Hunter. This is DC Thatcher. Charles Bennett. It was my truck that got stolen. Our son. Yeah, we've just left him at St. Hughes. He, uh, tell you what happened. Yeah, he gave us his account. Said he was returning from a job. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Via book arrest. You got the exact route? Uh, Janice will sort you. Can you give us full details of the cargo as well, please? Uh, it was electronics. Flat screens and DVD players. All fully insured, yeah? Of course. You want to see the papers? Please. Janice? So how long was Simon Neal working for you? It'll be 20 years next month. I was planning a celebration. You consider him a loyal employee? Well, that's family. No problems at all? Look, I know where you're going with this, and I don't like it. Where am I going with this? Don't patronise me, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Simon Neal is the best driver I've ever had. Totally honest, totally reliable. He had nothing to do with the theft of my truck, period. Now, why don't you come back when you find out who did? So you think that Neil is involved? His account was inconsistent. So where does that leave us? We've got details of the cargo, the route, and Neil stopped off in Bucharest. And Tirana. Where? Tirana, it's the capital of Albania. It's also a centre for human trafficking, specifically sex workers. So they're saying Coles is importing uh, Tom's? I don't know. But why hijack four truckloads of cheap TVs? And, I mean, where's the profit in that? Go on. OK. While I was following up the stolen van, I had Polly Page do some background. Now, she not only worked out the Albanian connection, but she discovered when she looked into the other trucks that an hour before each one, a van was stolen nearby. And? Well, if each hijack was a two-man job, why steal a van to do it? Doesn't make sense. Unless you're transferring illegals from the trucks. It's completely circumstantial. Yeah, maybe. It's worth looking into. Get on to it. D.O. Manson? Yeah. I'd like to speak to Neil again, see what he has to say. Well, I'll be my guest. OK. Good job. There you go, mate. Cheers. Neil won't talk now that he knows that we're on to him. It's time to turn up the heat. I've got a snout who used to be in Cole's loo. What about someone who still is? I've been doing a bit of digging around, and uh, one of Cole's associates is wanted for theft, Paul Cook. So I thought, whilst uh, Terry goes run around, you and I can pick up Mr. Cook and have a quiet word. All right, you're on. Got to take yeah. Hello, Precious. Look, I know I'll let you down, but I could... Listen, I'll make it up to you, all right? What about... Listen to me. What about a trip to Paris? 
in here on my shirt. I can't believe I've got the tickets. Mr. Neil. You see Perkins, Sun Hill. How are you feeling? As if you care. And why wouldn't I care? You've been the victim of a serious crime, a nasty and vicious attack. I'll be fine when I get out of here. And when you get home, to your wife. Was that her? Yeah. Well, maybe then you'll remember more about the attack. Maybe I'll just want to forget it. No, I don't blame you. Tell me, why do you think they tied you up, Mr. Neil? I'm a fighter, mate. Well, clearly. That's what I told her. Told who? Your wife? Look, it wasn't just my job. That cab's like a second home to me. When I'm on the road, I live and sleep in it. You ask any trucker. I told her straight. Why the hell should I let him take any of that, eh? Well, to British justice, gentlemen, we love it. British justice. 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 <laughs> Cheers. It's bad enough looking at him once. What, was that cook? Yeah. Sitting next to Coles in a black jacket. <sighs> what? Well, we found him, haven't we? Yeah, only we can't go over there because he's sitting next to Coles. Now, you got any other suggestions? Yeah, well, you know, we could wait and then... Um... No, I don't think so. Well, well. Now, I hope you haven't promised anybody a dirty weekend in Paris, mate. <laughs> oh, good. Because it's not yours to promise, is it? Right. Time to resort to plan A, I think. Yeah, it's still on time. Mr. Cook. Yeah? DC Thatcher, Sun Hill. I'd like to ask you about uh, an outstanding warrant. I've already been charged with that. Uh, Mr. Cook. You can't nick me twice. I know the rules. So do I. Yeah, well, I ain't going nowhere. Is that right? Yeah. Paul Cook, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Number two. You can't do this, I'm telling you. This is a false arrest. I assume he's sounding off. Absolutely. Look, give him half an hour, he'll soon calm down. Cheers. Listen, don't you want to get straight at him? Is there a problem, Sarge? What? You just jump in the gun, nothing else. Oh, you mean making progress? Progress? Yeah, as opposed to watching you all morning steaming in mob handed and getting nowhere. At least we've got a body now. <laughs> you really do want to win these tickets, don't you? Two rides. See, I've got myself lined up a fit, top draw, totty. And Sarge, please don't go on like you don't win those tickets as well. Well, let's put it this way. I've no intention of losing to you. And when it comes down to quality women, my little black book's full of them. Really? Hmm. Well, bring it on, baby. Every man for himself. Bring it on. I remember when these came out. Fantastic vehicle. You ever drive one? Only the toy version. No, I do feel old. You got any news? We're following a number of leads, as they say. Is that the uh, party line? No, DI's made this a priority. We're doing all we can. The service records from the stolen truck. Oh, cheers. Why don't you service them here? We did until our mechanic retired. Now it's just basic maintenance, oil changes and the such. Anything bigger and we go to a garage. Canley Commercial Repairs. It was Simon who recommended them. Any reason for that? When you're running 20 trucks, you're always trying to save cash. They took a bit longer, but they were cheaper. Any problem with them? None so far. Let me ask you a question. The woman sitting beside Simon in that photograph, who is she? That's his wife. 
It was their 20th wedding anniversary last year. Oh, excuse me, just hang on. Thanks. Reg. We found the tractor unit. Hello, Graham. I'm busy. Yeah, I am too. Busy, busy, busy. I don't know I saw you on that. You all right, love? So when's the big day? Next week. Oh, you might be inside by then. What is it, credit card fraud? Yeah, well, I'm hoping a judge will chill out of it. Doubt it, mate. Not with a serial offender like you, he won't have, can he? You're going to need a little help from your friends. What, you're putting a word? Yeah, I could do. Letter to the judge, you know how it is. But first, I need some information out of you about someone who we both share a history with. Bob Coles. No. And his involvement with these truck hijacks. Coles is our call, man. Look, do you want to be there for the birth of your child? Now I've heard it's an amazing experience when you hold that baby in your arms for the first time. Well, I just hope someone takes some photos. No. A letter, yeah? To the judge. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Good. Now, I need something I can use within an hour. Don't let me down. So you think Danny Glaze was a victim in all this? You got involved with Des Tavern, are you? That man manipulated everyone. How do you think he kept it quiet for so long? All right. No sign of the trailer. Same MO as the others. It'll be well gone by now. Let's go out forensics, will you? Tell them it's just come back from the garage. Polly, it's Terry. Yup, some more digging. What is it now? Okay, I need to know where and when the last three hijack lorries were serviced. Right, I'll get onto it. So Cook doesn't want to breathe. No, he still maintains he's been interviewed about this offence at Barton Street. Charge two. Whatever. Interview room three. Cheers. This way, gentlemen. Barton Street. Could I speak to the custody officer, please? Get back to okay? Still, good news. We found your tractor unit. Yeah? Nice no, driving the trailer, I'm afraid. They left all your personal stuff, including this. Who's Maureen? Your wife, is she? Saw a picture of her back at the workshop. It's none of your business. Given the seriousness of the crime, Mr. Neil, everything's my business. Now answer the question. You can answer the question here or down at the station. Look, I'm the victim here. I'm the one that tied up and shoved in a van. Have you forgotten that? I'm going to ask you one more time. Simon Neil, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft. You do not have to say anything. So, Mr. Cook, two words. Bob Coles. Now, you know his history, don't you? I mean, after what he said in the papers, every station in London is gunning for him. And you know forensics are going to send you down for the theft you're under suspicion for. Oh, yes. It's a done deal, baby. So, if you give us some information to give Bab Coles, well, then, you see that we... see that, John. You are in so much trouble. Interview suspended. 13.13 hours. Don't go away. Sergeant Murphy just spoke to Barton Street. They told her that Cook has already been charged with the offence you arrested him for. What? She then did a PNC check. Found that the wanted docket is no longer valid. Did you know that?